Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Okay, now what do I click? What's up, everybody? I am Big Lovin'. With me, as always, Don Dellis Nooch and Dragon Buddy. Welcome to the Escape Pod, a place where friends gather to talk all things geek. This week, we're talking a bunch of different shit. We're talking like video games. We're talking uh, Acolyte trailer. We're talking a little Bad Batch. Not going to get spoiler with today's Bad Batch because I know one just came out, but we're kind of just delving in all yeah. that shit. Tina I, wants me to stop playing with her butthole. Clink and clink, the bitches. Thing that stops the heartbeat. Clink yeah. and clink. Nine volt battery. That shit. Brady uh, batteries. I'm gonna. Yeah, dude. Brady batteries. So good. Brady battery. Brady batteries would be like made out of potatoes, like the old school fucking. You ever do that shit? Yeah. That potato. Yeah. Like voltage. Yeah. Boiled. I don't give a fuck. It made voltage, bro. I don't it fucking. And, I don't know how it works. I don't yeah, think it works. Block and what? Hey, what? What we got to talk about? Real? Let's be upfront. We're playing with an injured player. Yeah. Um. Okay. Don. Don is hurt, but he's fucking forging through. So it could get weird. It could get short. It could get. We I, don't know. I might walk out of the room for fifteen minutes or so, and that's just the way it is. If you hear any screaming, just it's okay. Yeah. So it's warranted. I may ask some questions. Yeah, he may just sit there with his hand up. Just, you know. Finger I burned the heartbeat. living shit out of my finger is what it was. And so it's got its own heartbeat. I'm pretty sure that... It's like it, a cartoon, so big. It's in Central Time, and I'm trying so to be big. over here in fucking Eastern Time. It's a thing. It's not good, dude. Like, the molecules in the air are fucking with it. On every level, the hot ones are not friends. The cold ones are not friends. Right. There's no happy medium. He's fucking miserable. And I'm on four hours sleep, mm. so my my brain doesn't have the capacity He's to fucking, fucking cope with it. Shot. His brain is just like, this is bullshit. Yeah, yeah it's I, a total I, horror everything. story. It kind of reminds me of something you read in 13 Paths. Oh, you know, I got that book right here. Yeah, dude. By Jen, by uh, Jen Jess Bolt and fucking Andy motherfucking Lockwood. Bro. You know what? No, yeah, bro. Mine is signed. Oh, you but that's what I'm saying. If you get it, you come, you come to Jackson, Michigan. I'll get that. you pop the paparazzi experience. We'll get it signed. Mm -hmm. They have a contract with us to have that happen. It's a whole thing we're doing for them to for promote their book. I think it's class. I think it's clever. Mm -hmm. I think it's real clever. So. Buy the book, Amazon, get two copies, like we've always yeah. said. It's and good. And then to, they'll just... sing the song Paparazzi for you. It's, Lady and I'm gonna tell you what, what? Jess feels that shit. Mm -hmm. he yeah, I mean, fucking, he can melt he it out. gets and I've heard some things about Andy Lockwood, but you know what? Buy the book, come here to Jackson, Michigan, paparazzi experience, and you'll get to find out. Yep. 13 paths. It's on Amazon. This two is my birthday. Do it. Yep. Yeah. This is Thumpkin. Fuck you, burning. He is dying. He is dying. And, you know, it's it's so. I was telling Brady, I'm like, it. It's a minor burn, right? Like, I did. It didn't take off flesh. But it's you know what what I mean? like it's not good, bro. Uh, you know, it's probably right before. But it's like one of those things where, like, I've got this massive phobia of like being burnt to death, and this is why. Because I'm just burnt on like an inch and a half of my thumb. And I'm like, I'll cut the whole fucking arm off. <laughs> just right here. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's not, it doesn't thump anymore. Yeah. It's just, it's just put it in the air like I'm hitchhiking. Yeah, dude. Like this is. Just, like your fucking Hitch breakfast club, man. Hitchhiker's yeah. Guide to the Galaxy. This is what we're doing. I know of a few of his weaknesses, bro. We had an interesting. Um, patreon episode smoking section uh i know we i know i know what one of your weaknesses would be bro i know what one of your kryptonites would be if you get my drift and grease burns yeah dude and bacon tear him at him and he's like and fucking oh, tear him. Like it would tear him up fucking baking frying pans yeah. 
Ah, yeah. What's wrong being, with him? Bacon being crisps. burned or drowned, man. I'm done. Like being drowned terrifies me. You know what? I've gotten old, and I'm six five. And as I've gotten older, and I've I've my six five has gotten wider. Uh, tight spaces, ter- like I see the the when those kids that soccer team th- of those boys in like Thailand or some shit they were stuck. Oh in- yeah, in the cave. Yeah. My wife was all the fuck about it, and she was watching these things and how they're talking about getting them out. And I, I would, I couldn't watch it. It would make me fucking sweat, mm-hmm. and like I would get uncomfortable just thinking about what they were doing. And then she watched the whole fucking special on like National Geographic, oh, yeah, and how That's they scary. got the boys out of there, bro. I fucking kill me dude i don't want to come out like fuck mm. make a monument of me inside the fucking tunnel when the, the water clears like fuck that dude i don't I'm like, I'm like that with heights now like it never bothered me before anymore I, I i never used to be afraid of heights and now like i see like a video of a guy changing those light bulbs on those giant radio towers oh I'm, dude i'm like oh, oh oh god i got i gotta stop because it's just, yeah like yes right your head says jump off why the or fuck those stupid fucking kids who go to those climb them towers and they yeah, just sit and there hang and they off, hang and they're like take that picture and you're like yeah mm-hmm. dude and you're like one hand in it and you're like oh no, just my one heart mistake going. i'm like nope nope you're stupid it's- one fucking mistake bro Especially those girls that take those crazy pictures where, like, their boyfriend is holding them off of a building and they uh, get oh, that, like, no. swoop look. And I'm like, you are putting your trust into some no, jackass. Bro. No. Because That's if he's good. really your boyfriend, he's like, babe, this ain't a good idea. No. This is dumb. Right. Right. <laughs> Voice of reason. Even fucking Jack was trying to tell old girl on the Titanic, bro. He's like, you need to fucking step the fuck back. What are you doing? Right. Come but he on. also was like, bitch, I'm, I know there's enough room on this door. Yeah, Dude, even Greedo's bit. like, fuck heights, man. Yeah, it's just something, and it never bothered me, dude. I climb trees. I, mm-hmm. I used to sit up in the trees doing lemon shit, 30 feet going back and forth. Never bothered me. All of a sudden, I see <laughs> I'm <dead>. done. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, exactly don has something to add <laughs> i just saw his hand up please 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 yeah you missed it dad uh don burned the shit out of himself i did I burned and, my finger and it's really taking bad. everything for him to march on mm-hmm. he's in a bad place i'm trying to be pleasant he's doing he's not doing a good job <laughs> <laughs> terrible job he needs a fluffer it's awful <laughs> Sorry, continue. Who did I interrupt? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I oh, don't shit. think we interrupted anything. I think Don had something to say. He, had yeah. no, I just, he said it. <laughs> he said it with his face. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, oh shit. It, I was I was cleaning the, the grill, Pave Lord, and I got I splashed hot fucking olive oil on half of my thumb. Yeah, he was cleaning the blackstone. And yeah, yeah, it's not cool. No. So he's, he's been in misery. Like, and I mean, to be fair, I'm a little bitch. It's true. Like, it's not even, I'm not even going to front. Like, I'm kind of a bitch when it comes <laughs> to shit like this. I'm like, I, I know his weakness, though. Just, I just need to keep. It's I'm in just, my bottom. I'm going to keep a little, little fucking thing of baking grease, hardened baking grease in like a little tin. Oh, just fucking oh, show it. Son of a me- bitch. Melt it. Get melt it until it's hot and boiling and then splash it on you. Ah! What are you putting uh, in the microwave? Nothing. I, nothing. <laughs> I would never do mean things to you. I, hey, I know my weakness. I know how you can get me, but I'm not going to tell, tell you. I'll tell you what. We got, it out. I grew up with aloe plants, man. You get a burn. Oh, a little dude, bit of that aloe. aloe plant. Oh, it's so good. It's oh, when we were younger, we lived and died by that shit. If I had aloe, aloe right now, I'd gel. put it on my finger. Yeah. The, but we didn't have the pump stuff. We had it like in the tub. We had a plant. It was a little like constantly. Like we did have. I do remember when we had the piece off and squish it on. I do remember when we had the the plants. Mm-hmm. I do remember we you would yeah you would just crack them in half and just yep just, just, yeah. Just, yeah. I remember we got fucking burnt like motherfucker at the beach one time. 
my dad probably was like, shut up. Don't tell this story. <laughs> oh, like sunburn. Oh, like destroy burn, like fucking bacon. Like that is mm. your that's bitch shit. Super oh, bitch. Dude, shit. I'm telling you, I've gotten sunburns that I mean, I was on the fucking. It looked floor, like we were Brian. growing water balloons on that's, our back. Yeah, oh, that sun poisoning is great, dude. Like, <laughs> Look, oh, my dad no. put up this top sign. <laughs> I, will, oh, I you know I how many will, times I remember as a kid running around like just playing outside, running in the fields, fishing, and then like come home and go, oh no. Oh, I, I would get them kind of purple. This is kind of I would get them on my uh right here on my cheeks, those little sun blisters. Oh yeah. I would get them so bad, and I would get them on my shoulders all the time because you just ran around in a tank top, or sometimes you run around half the day or all day with no shirt on. Yeah, just run around just like an idiot. What you did, and your parents, you know, nobody was there. If your parents were at home, you didn't fucking put sunscreen on. Nobody cared to think about that. When when I was uh, would have been my junior year of high school, I went to Florida. We went to Cocoa Beach for the day, and I'm like, I don't need sunblock. I'm fuck grown up. And my girlfriend at the time was like, you need sunblock. And I'm like, no, I'm good. You know, and she fucking like took a thumb full of it and went like right on my chest. And then I burnt the piss out of myself, except for one little <laughs> white splash on my. And I mean, I was burnt so bad all the way home. Um, I was like eating Motrin and I couldn't sleep and i was freezing to death I, on the bus i got like i got burnt bad. like that one other time when we lived in albuquerque we went camping mm -hmm. and i remember we came back and i was it was burnt so bad that we had to my dad put newspaper my mom and dad put newspaper up in the windows of of the blazer yeah like i was we were just toast i think my sister was toast too just fried bro right like oh god it was awful it was awful that's some of the worst mm -hmm. oh man it oh, takes freedom. you back it, it takes you back though because i found out i love being outside man i found out when i was an adult and i didn't know um when i was young but baking soda and vinegar We'll pull the burn out. We yeah, took well. when the, w my dad did the stop sign because he don't want me talking about that shit. <laughs> we couldn't go to school. We had to fucking we would we were at we were at the people who's with us house the next day because we couldn't go. Mm -hmm. We were taking vinegar baths. Yeah, because that was the only fucking comfort you. It was mm -hmm. all. It was awful. I stopped, Dad. I didn't tell all the things. I it was awful. It we was, had. We had That's a horrendous. really bad one when we did uh, Ozfest in 2002. We went. Yeah, I seen Kelly and, was saying something yeah, about that. Yeah, I was her and I together, and our couple friends that were with us. That was the worst sunburn that I have ever had. We were just blistered for days. Lips, all of a sudden, like the next day, you're like, "Oh my god, my lips must have because your lips just blistered up." Oh yeah. lord! One friend fell asleep on. Everybody's buying these thirty dollars fucking t-shirts. It was like thirty bucks for a shitty ass t-shirt, and they were selling this giant tapestry for twenty. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna get this giant tapestry. So we laid it out in the field because we had general admission tickets, and our friend fell asleep and woke up, and she had this line. Oh no, no! This side was purple, and this side was beet red. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, like this, oh, like oh. Lord. Patty, you are gonna. Oh, you really need to get something on that right now. That's oh like, oh my fucking, god, bro, like, like, like burn Ooh. cream. Yeah, we and of course, because we had a couple players on uh second stage that we left for, and we went up to our main general admission. We're gonna get the sound break, and yeah, that was fucking rough. That was, I can't, I can't mm. with that. I'm, I'm, I'm now so that I'm like, ooh, concert, cool, we're going underneath in the the shade in a seat because mm -hmm. i spent my time out in the in the mosh pits and out in the sun in general admission and i'm gonna take a seat right <laughs> i'm for the i'm for the most part i still am like i was as, as a young boy i i would play outside i'd get burnt 
I'd burnt that first time and then that would turn into a tan and I would be tan yep. all depending on where we lived. I would be tan all season, all summer, you know, winter came around, it would kind of go out, but you know, we are of those generations where we were outside all oh, the yeah. time. So, I would get a, a big burn and then the rest of the season tan. Like I worked on golf courses for yeah. over 20 years. So I was out in it, you know, trying to sleeve up your polo shirt so you can get as much sun as you can and even out the farmer's tan. And <laughs> yeah, I get that first burn and it would suck for a couple of days. But then the rest of the summer, I'm just tan. You were good. Fun. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Chicks dug you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, well, I had the little white hair, bro. I was a little toe head. Golden so, lady. And then I had the I had the ducktail, bro. I had like a oh, yeah. flat top into the ducktail going for a while. That was my look. And then I did the spiky hair. I did short hair up until pretty much I got into into middle school and high school. And then I started growing my hair out. My parents wouldn't let me grow it past my uh, bottom of my earlobes. They were Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> You go ahead and tell that story, though, Brady. <laughs> I fucking will, man. Tell me deep. I've got a lot of pent up aggression about that. Oh yeah, you take me to a festival. I'll sit out in second stage all day long. But at, when I go see the headliners, I'm gonna have a seat in between sets because I'm 46 years old and I paid for it, motherfucker. <laughs> you, hey, no, I dig it, dude. I dig it. I. When I go to concerts, I listen to whatever the fuck Donnie's like, we're going here, we're sitting here, this here, here. Yep, he knows, bro. Right. And his 73-year-old ass needs to be comfortable, so I know I'm going to be fucking comfortable. And he knows that I'm fucking tall, so he'll do his damnedest to make sure the seating arrangement puts me <laughs> in a exit, into the aisle, whatever kind of a situation. So, right. fuck yeah, dude. Sweet. Fuck yeah. No, we're not a couple. We act like it sometimes Life though. Mate. Yeah, it's a good good observation, Gap After Dark. Hetero it's Life solid. Mate. Yeah, no, hetero life. A very Jay and Silent Bob, except neither one of us can be silent ever. No, especially if Don's burned. He's out yeah. screaming that I think this is as silent as we get to have of him not being present. We should all take this in. It's kind of lovely. <laughs> I'm a fan. I think I'm we can hear him screaming. God, that'd be great. No, for the love of Christ. <laughs> Don, you have a hot mic. Right. I can't quit you. No. No, we can't. We can't. <laughs> we we tried. Wanna go camp? Didn't work. <laughs> wanna, wanna, maybe for a little bit. Could be Duck fun. Tails. Oh, woo. Yeah. No, I did, bro. I rock that shit. I had the flat top though, man. Like the flat top was my thing for a long time when I was little. Like I definitely flat top, flat top and spiked hair because it all depended on the gel mousse. Like you could put product, but for the right. most part, dude, I had all oh, bro. It was a look for a good uh, chunk of my childhood. It was like my dad up, or my Keith? grandmother take us to a, to the barber store like to the barber in town old dude cut your hair and then his son was like coming up in the business to family owned thing and like my grandmother would take us there and like this is where boys and men go to get their hair done i'll wait outside and it was like the the barber experience of being in a small town of oh house. see i didn't <clears throat> i grew up going to military barber shops oh, like yeah. for the for the most part probably until I really, really got a say in how I wanted my hair, which was probably more so middle school, I really started speaking up. That, like, no, this is how I want it. Um, I always went to on on base. High and, and tight. Yeah, and and like I want a flat top. I want a, this tall. I'm a little boy, so I would definitely be out of regs for my flat top right. and shit like that. But that's but, how I wanted it, bro. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want it? What like this? It's coming back. It's coming back. It's yeah. We're getting it. We're getting it back. Duck tail. Woo. Woo. So I've always wanted. I cut. 
I cut my hair uh, during the pandemic. Like I let it grow out for a while. Like I, I wanted, I've always wanted to grow my hair out and I always chicken shit after a while. And I was fucking so happy and content with it. And then going through the pandemic, going back to work, I couldn't handle it. I felt so constricted because oh, I, yeah. I felt like I had to pull it up. Plus, I had my long ass fucking beard right. and my beard was a lot longer than it is now. And it just felt like it was so much. So I cut it off and I instantly regretted it. Right. And I kept it clean for about a year. And then I'm like, I'm going back to having long hair. I, I can't vibrate I, them. My kids, my fucking, my, especially my daughters are so happy that I'm doing it. Like my middle, my middle youngest, she's like, it's your look, dad. It's like, it's right. totally you. And that it makes is. me feel like a million fucking That's dollars, nice. bro. So like, I could care how anybody else on this fucking planet feels about it. Don't care. My middle child Don't telling me that it's my look. You guys can fuck off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, hey, I'm growing my hair out. My hair hasn't been this long in 24 years coming up on. So, well, and I always try hair. to, I always try to tell people, like, the jokes aside, there, there is that rebellious part of my folks wouldn't let me, they would only let me do it so much. And then when I was in the military, man, it was like I had to stay within these regs. And I, I couldn't push it. I would, I would try to push having a goatee or a solid five o'clock shadow by Sunday. So I would push the boundaries of how I would or wouldn't shave Thursday and Friday. Right. And how I could eat through it, depending on what shift I was working. And then Thursday would come around. Oh, dude. Like, and if I was going on leave for a week, Oh my God, I would try to stop shaving on Wednesday. You right. mean to tell me I'm going to get a week and a half long beard? Holy. F mm. That's incredible. And for some dudes, like <laughs> they were men. <laughs> like for me, I was like, yeah, I see that. It's okay. So okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very patchy. So, which is funny now because, like, like obviously. Lions, man. For the most part, you guys have known me. I've, I've had a solid fucking beard going. So, yeah, you do. It's your thing. That is my thing. Fuck it is it. my thing. It's you. Keith had long bangs when he was 14. Yep. Nice. My Love dad it. made a comment to one of my friends about him being Kool-Aid head because he would change his hair color regularly. And that was what sparked me that to, I was, my hair was every color of the rainbow. About like jawline length. My, that was I about always, as long as I could get it. Yeah. I, when it came to coloring my hair, um, my parents would never let me like go buy kits and shit really. I mean they did but they didn't. So I always did like I fucking did the peroxide thing a couple oh, times yeah. and that worked. My yeah. mom would be like don't do that and she would buy me like sun and sun and in, shit yeah. like that. That's and how that kind of works. Right the but then I bag. would do like I would do lemon juice and shit like that and that shit actually worked. Right. So like I did all that kind of goofy shit, but I never did like wild colors. I always did blonde or let my sister do it. And she overcooked it once and it was orange. So and I that's the hair I went into the fucking, <laughs> that's the hair I went into the air force with. Oh, so shit. I didn't bother cutting it that last like couple months before right. I joined the service. I just let it grow out. It is what it is. And they don't let you, when you go through basic training before you get it cut, they don't let you do your hair or nothing. So I had out of regs like a son of a bitch, orange fucking oh, hair, shit. like just fucking Throwing blown everywhere. the fuck out everywhere, marching around with the fucking cantina around my fucking waist shit. with my little portfolio and shit. And uh we had an abnormal amount of time before we could get our hair cut because we came in on a Friday night. Oh, so. And there was no barbers through sa uh, Saturday and Sunday. Right. So Monday is when I got my hair. It was weird, bro. And I, I, I made a, I fucked up during uh, going through the first chow hall, and I fucked up like two days, three days in a row, or some shit. Like I went to the wrong clipper, and you just don't do. You're a dumbass. I'm a dumbass, and I went to the wrong fucking clipper. And the dude's like trainee loving. 
it's a shame you're going to get your hair cut. I'm not going to know who your dumb ass is. And I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, I can't wait to get my fucking hair cut. Let's fucking do this now. <laughs> I'll cut it myself. Stop letting me stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, see, that'll happen, Smirking Bear. That'll happen. My mom and my sister burnt mine. I was like, you, you just got to keep putting more in and it'll get blonder. Yeah, no. Yes. No, you got to no. stop. Pump the brakes and then it's you can't leave it in, in that one long. Day. Not all yeah. in a day. Because then you're like, that. oh, great. Now I'm a pumpkin. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, good oh, time. Here he is. Here he is. He's coming. He's, he's coming back. It's not his. No, we didn't. Nope, he's not. That's the secret. He's not coming back. Oh, it was a secret. I don't know. He's he's doing some fucking MacGyver shit. I swear he got duct tape, duct another tape, chair, an ice cube. He's got a Avocado. fucking. He's got fucking and coffee a mug. <laughs> he's got a coffee mug full of ice. You all saw it with his hand with his thumb in everybody. it. Oh, it's vinegar. I love it. Ice cubes and, and ice. Oh God, that's just. This is great. It's not great. It's not even fun. Yeah, that's why a lot of hey smirking bears like no, I was trying to be a brown M M&M for school <laughs> pictures. So many people in that in that time did that to their hair because of Eminem, man. So many white kids did that shit. Yep. So many I do not even just white kids, like that just it it was a thing that people fucking and it's did. not an overnight transformation. And if you treated it as such, you ended up kind of orange. Yeah. I, I was pretty orange. 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 But yeah, I didn't do the colors. Like I didn't get into doing yeah. Vampire Red, I think, was the last one that I went with. Manic Panic made out those badass colors of people always try to get me to do Great. silly shit with my beard. The wildest shit is I put beads in when I went on vacation. We went on a cruise and I got like three strands of like three beads. Right. Or maybe I did six strands. I don't know. But I tell you what, a lot of people commented on it on the boat. And then the next time we stopped in a port, there was like three other dudes I saw got it done. I was like, That's fuck right. yeah, I'm a trendsetter, motherfucker. Right. I got it. Why well, I got to be the short wife. What do you mean? Fucking smirking bear said it. Because I'm six fucking five. You have to be the short wife. No, bro. he's the wife. He's just tall. Bro. You're so much more, or you are such the woman in this relationship. So big. So big. I'm breaking hips. You're burning yourself on grills. <laughs> <laughs> the only time you break a hip is if you start shopping at the nursing home. You're 73. <laughs> Can't argue that. Right? Sitting here with my thumb and a fucking... Uh, in a mug, fucking coffee mug vinegar. in its own chair in its own chair. in its own chair you fucking crush you yeah i mean i'm out here doing it living the life it's a terrible it, life it's been 28 minutes have you guys talked about anything Dude, we, yeah lots of what stuff. are you talking about have we talked about anything have we talked about anything that the show's about like no sausage we're gonna but talk about buttered sauce. We could, bro. He, now he's gonna click it. It was beautiful. We climaxed at the same time. How's that work? Shoot my load into you, shoot your load on the floor. Okay. Yeah, you're loading me to my bottom. Oh god. That's not it! That's not the one! That's, that was the wrong one. Oh, I, no, that's just the one I wanted to make Brady fucking laugh. <laughs> it's beautiful. He cannot fucking watch that and not so, fucking. It makes a hair on my neck. Stand <laughs> up. It's beautiful. And no, that's what she says. <laughs> what you... In my bottom. In my bottom. In my bottom. Oh, God. <laughs> I just love he turns around. Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh, God. How does that work? You asked. Oh, God. Ta-da. Yes, uh, Gap show. saw that new alien trailer, Romulus. Oh. Looks like we might be back to horror in space, like the original. Like, mm. had that vibe to it. I okay. think I think Aliens is the better of the movies. My oh, yeah. favorite. Aliens, like, one of the best. Well, one of the only movies that the sequel was, like, better than the first. 
I enjoyed Aliens in the Aliens versus Predator comic books. Oh, I was a fan of those. I've never, I've always chose Predator when it came to those series, but I appreciate the world building that they're doing with Aliens. Um, and I appreciate it, especially if, like I've always said, those people who love that fandom, if they're getting what they want out of it and it's, and it's, it's pleasing them, like fucking keep it going, like make them fucking happy, give them more. But I was, I've always been a fucking, uh, predator dude. What? Are we good? <laughs> you you agree does this. Uh, that might well it loud. Why? Because it's funny. How would you like your burger, sir? Well done, please. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's oh, a, good. That's a good one, dude. Oh, well good. done. That was good. Hashtag well done. Oh, well, that probably would work in a good. You see what LG put? I buttered my sausage. That's what it was. If you've got the butter dune bucket. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Ooh, butter dune bucket. I guess those things sold out in a matter of hours. Yeah, like dude, because people are gross. People are gross. People are nasty. <laughs> Stop doing bitches. what you're doing over there. Right? You sick bastard. Get it out of my face. Yeah. Get out of my face. Little buttered <laughs> sausage <laughs> bitches. Not my jam. Not my jam. <laughs> I don't buy jam. Which I, I hope, I hope, I hope that brought some folks to this channel. Because I <laughs> use that sound clip for some marketing on social media. Oh, so good. So... Hopefully that brought you here and you're like, yeah, this about summed up what the fuck I thought this would be about. Right. The Dune Fleshlight. Dune Fleshlight. No, it's a fucking popcorn bucket. No, oh, it's not. It, I don't think we really talked about it, but that the second half. Oh, no, that, we talked about it. Bro. The Dune movie. Oh, no, you didn't talk about it. No. The second half of it is so good. Yes, yeah. we're not going to talk about it, remember, because we're going to cover it when it comes out on on the streaming. I'm just saying it's good. Yeah. Hey, I don't know why you're being like this. I don't because I've you, said three words in the last half hour because like, you've barely words. been here to have five words said. Don, I think it's your thumb talking. Yeah, it's well done. <laughs> it's well done. It's well done. It's well yeah, done. Okay. <laughs> Tickle their pickle with some worm teeth. Yes, horrid, original beef. Know. That's a very original thought. Yeah, I don't know that I need the flashlight fucking popcorn bucket. Nah. Hey, I'm all about Dune. Love Dune. Love Lynch's Dune. Love New Dune. Um, don't need a uh, Dune popcorn bucket. I can't wait like till till picture. after after we've seen the second half of Dune, and then we go back and we watch Lynch's Dune, and then Brady's like, oh. Oh, ah. <laughs> I'm I've already been investigating where where I can get some LSD, so it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that movie one way or Cinematic another. Cinematic enhancement. You don't even need psilocybin; it it comes ocularly. It does. It's right into your dome. Well, you know what? Like, just oh, in case, I'm tripping. Just balls. just in case, I don't want to fuck around here. Okay, guys. Hey. I'm freaking out, man. These movie seats don't have seat belts. <laughs> I'll be good. I'll have bring to some hold duct tape. on the carpet so I don't fall off the world. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to. You got to be safe when you're in this situation. Mm -hmm. That's why fucking people who get good and fucked up buy shag carpet so they don't fall off the world. You no, you just on hold too. on. Right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> did you ever fall on the carpet on mushrooms? Uh, that's the worst fucking thing ever, bro. Because you get stuck for so fucking long. Why is long. your carpet on mushrooms? No, like when you're on mushrooms and you fall to the ground and you try to push up and you fucking just fall and you're looking and you're like this. You There's a whole world down there. That's where Smurf. Yeah, dude. It is not. Look, I'm tingling thinking about it right now. God. No! You don't want to fall. You're just trapped. Is there mushrooms yes, down look, there? I'm seriously. I got no. It's so bad, dude. And then you could fuck somebody else's life up because they're laughing at you and think it's hilarious until you yank them down and they're on the <laughs> fucking ground with you. Shit. And they do not find that shit to be funny. 
they're fucking yelling and screaming and they can't get unstuck from the berber carpet is the oh, devil oh god bro so a little psilocybin turns you into velcro yeah not a little bit i don't think it was a little bit i really don't think it was a little bit oh man damn oh man here's your psa yeah i don't know if it was oh, mushrooms on my card don't hang out with carpets on mushrooms don't know do mushrooms on carpet what if there's carpet on the wall well i don't know if i'd be able to handle that i i might be in a padded room right I'm now stuck. i might be in a padded room right now we used to have a bar in town that all the walls were carpet no bro that's, that's too much that's that's wow. too much it that's kind of gross and the thing about it is is like when i was you know 21 and going in there i was just like oh yeah you fucking feel the wall as you walk by and my like 40 some year old self is like you should never touch that one <laughs> <laughs> like the amount of bacteria that is in that those fibers is it you could unmake a civilization with it <laughs> it's true though it's true it's not safe for anyone oh gap is very look we can get into that gap is asking if we gave our opinions yeah, in the heck like let's we're just getting ready to it. This we can is do the it. time this is go they're at they're right. asking for it the people have spoken i came is what i'm saying multiple times i'm, I'm excited except Let's for the be. part with the kids because that would be creepy that's weird that's weird <laughs> it was definitely after that part it was after that when all the jedi were together and all the lightsabers like yeah. i like, tell oh. you what i mean we'll jump we you know how we do here on the escape pod gap uh newer but we jump around we do stuff but we're bringing that up i did not expect the ending of that trailer the the whole stuff, red lightsaber floating around and then blowing back the other Ooh. fucking jedi like yeah. i didn't see that coming forced right. like ground stomp time that time. feels like something big just happened and they're like no here it's in a commercial mm -hmm. you're like here, take what that, yeah. yeah dude and then i want it because there's people out there who know like you see a part of that lightsaber hilt whose is it do we know yet like know. where are the sleeps right. man where the where the there's a lot team? of easter eggs sitting inside there and like i i feel bad that i didn't read some of the high republic books because yeah. there's a lot of connections in there some of it just wasn't my thing but you're um, like but you're you're a thousand years almost after um the but, fucking it's before 100 it's, years before uh original or uh yeah and 500 they say 100 500 years before you're 100 heard years 100. before uh, phantom menace right but right. you're like a thousand years after light of the jedi so yeah there's some your references from time. from the books the novels they're not even going to be relevant well there's oh, they are couple. though they say they're, that there's a uh, some of the books lead right they, they show a character after the short story where the nihil get destroyed mm. um but yeah i guess there are some characters and connections into that yeah like the they show high republic lenestra or nestra i believe it is and people smarter than me who've actually delved in all that shit like he comes from those yeah. books and stuff like Kel that. Not, so. well, there's like a good thing about the the Wookiee we're seeing is that the Wookiee Jedi, possibly, mm -hmm. which would be uh High Republic is Kel, I think. Yeah, it's, no, there yeah, was I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys saw Wookie. they put out little things on like starwars.com. I can't remember where it was. Mm -hmm. I saw screenshots of it and explaining who these characters yeah. were. And that that Wookiee, he is a Jedi, but Kel he, Naka he lives it like as alone mm. on his own and he kind of doesn't really go by the jedi council he kind of does his well, this own is a thing. time period that's great like this is yeah. the high republic was like the time of ultimate peace like there's no wars and and then arrogance by way of compliance and complacency. thank you Tina. like we're the Jedi got so powerful that they got complacent with the fact that they're being powerful and they didn't pay attention. To We're burying the, the lead coming. a little bit, though. Let's talk about fucking Carrie Ann Moss. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Trinity's a Jedi. Makes oh. Matrix makes so much sense. Yeah, dude. That was when I came the first time. Oh, 
I, I saw her face and went, yo, was that Carrie Ann Moss? Yeah. And then I, I got, showed her again. I'm like, oh, it is Carrie Ann Moss. I got straight wet. Like, I man. love I love how they're like, we're going to lean into, we know you know how to do this kind of choreography, this kind of fighting, and we want to show how capable these Jedi were. So we're going to use you and your capabilities to do that. And it looks like we're in that style of older kung fu samurai type movies, which mm -hmm. I'm totally for, dude. I, I love that look to the Jedi that, you know, they use more than just the force. It's also using the force with your body. And, um, man, so you know, excited. Sparking Bear, I'm not shooting to yield it and to dull my thumb burn. I, that's just what I drink. It's, it's what he does. I could put it in a glass, but. It's easy. What a waste. I don't have I don't have a glass in front of me. But the one I do have has vinegar in it. So <laughs> don't do that. Don't use that. Cheers. It's in a glass. See? This is not a sharing bottle, is what I'm saying. This, no. This is just a snooge bottle. It's it's all his. Yeah. yeah. Alan, That's the, the, the wire foo in the, this trailer was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. really is. It's exciting to see like um, I know it was more the the Sith character throwing the the lightsaber and it's spinning around, cutting through trees, still ignited. Like I know we've seen Ray do it, but it was fucking dope to see. It was a red saber. It was like, a red that, saber. That like, red saber slicing there's out of nowhere. Intent, it was just there's like, intent ooh. behind that saber. And then you ooh. see all the Jedi where they're like, oh. <laughs> And then they're all just like hit with some weird ground stomp. That was oh. I think your dad understands me in a way that he gets it. Like, there's no reason to dirty a glass. You just gotta wash it. Yeah, no, that that's who's gonna do the percent. dishes in the end anyway. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Not me with my burn off ass finger. No, no, that's for sure. Because that. that water's gonna do something else to it. It's gonna take you to oh, another yeah. level. That you were, you Hot, might pass the fuck out. Fuck you might that. pass oh, out. Bro. No. I ain't. Down. You might pass out. No. Don't get that antibiotic foam shit on there. You'll pass out right away. The shit's got the oh, alcohol yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. starts you... foaming on. Put it on. Oh my lord, dude, you'll die. Zap. Yeah, pretty much. Your soul will be gone so fast. But it means it won't be infected because it hurts so much. Right. Mm -hmm. So you got that working possibly for you. Fuck yeah. Or not. Or not. I think Greedo's raises an interesting point too. Fucking Yoda is going to be alive and a functioning Jedi in this period. Hey, yeah, it's going to be interesting if we get to see him. 700 and something years old. I think it's a missed opportunity if we don't. Well, you have a lot of them. You have Yoda, you have Yaddle. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Wu Tang. Wu Tang yes. could make a spot. Wu Tang the fact could show that we've up. got um, Li Zhong Zhe, who was uh, the prisoner in um, Squid Game. Him being a Jedi Master is pretty cool. Like, I think that's what space, That was pretty fucking cool. So, yeah, we can see a lot of different characters here. Um, even down to, I saw something where they were like, hey, you know that, what was the name of the guy that Obi Wan goes to? to ask him um how this was made and he's like oh this is coming canoa oh uh fuck gax uh, uh, gag yeah so it's something real close to that yeah shit but like he's old enough to have been around in this area in this era too so hey we're outside of skywalker timeline man mm -hmm. yeah outside of skywalker timeline in a time where sith are in the background you know like we're still within, if, if you read Plagueis, you know, you still have got a lineage of secret bad guys out there. Right. So <clears throat> this is a good timeline. Anything could happen. And the music, did you, did you go back and listen to the trailer just for the music? It's nice. That it's You good. know, that's something like that none of these Star Wars shows have bad um no, they got they music. they yeah they do a solid job with the music. <clears throat> Jedi clitoris. That's never find her. She's always no. like hiding. Yeah, but well, that's thing. wearing a hood. Always. Is it? They could either use the Jedi powers to guide you to it or hide you from you. 
I love I love the comment in the 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 acolyte. It's not it's not a question of the light and dark. It's he who can wield the power. And that's how you would think that the Jedi have had a thousand years of peace, as we hear in the prequels. You know, haven't seen a Sith in a thousand years. So the Jedi, after a thousand years, you know, they're sitting on their heels. Some mm -hmm. of them are getting fat off the land. Oh, yeah. You no, know, like there's no reason for all of us to be protecting you from what? Other than, you know, a couple bad guys here and there. Right. Yeah. And now darkness is starting to show up and they're wondering yeah. what the hell's darkness, going on. That's it. Good stuff. Killing Jedis. We see an assassin taking on Trinity. Dude, my legs are fucking with me too. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not serious. Legs, I'm super stop. serious. This is just this is bullshit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I've oh it's great. Well then let's I mean let's hightail it. There's no reason to believe her. Like so uh we're all in for the acolyte. Like I we're super happy. Yeah, um trailer. don't be Could don't be, be surprised if acolyte is a situation where uh because there's a two episode premiere, which are, that's awesome. Two yeah. episode premiere coming on Wednesday. This this could be another Ahsoka situation where we're covering it day of. Mm -hmm. See what um, happens. It's the it's it's our fortunate it it's our fortunate situation that it works for us. Uh, because we've always been Wednesday at seven oh five. That's never changed. We've be, uh... never changed that early wednesday morning watch because this is kind of anticipated yeah like there's a lot of that or whatever but it's positivity side of it having somebody that didn't know star wars come in and be like all right you're going to do star wars because we like the way you write go watch the original trilogy and the prequels check it out and we could get a great story because andor they weren't super fans that wrote Andor, and I loved Andor. I felt oh, like Andor God, was yeah. written for me, my generation of I'm grown up now as a kid. Here's the dark shit that was going on. Um, I think this it kind of has that feel. That yeah. same uh this is an adult who was a kid during the original trilogy. This is an adult's version of Star Wars. That dark fucking LG is poisoning Alan. No, she tried to get my. She tried to do the same shit to my dad too. She oh, was like, my it. dad. She my. She asked the question, "Would you get a who would get a hot dog?" You know, like she tried to do to us, right? Because she's trying to make it a thing. And my dad's, my dad's, no LG. I would be full from the popcorn. Yeah, like we discussed, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, "Well, would you if Brady ate all the popcorn?" He's like, "Yes." So that now you're just coercing the witness. Like, no. I'm just going to throw out there, after a movie, would you rather go get a hot dog from a gas station or Texas Roadhouse? Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. It's fucking a right. This free bread with that fucking cinnamon honey butter that they got. I'm going, I, I'm literally Christmas. picking almost anything. Alan, get out. If I'm hungry. Alan, get out. I'm going for nachos. Or I'm, I'm going for I don't I'll know, stop I, at fucking Panda Express. I don't know, Alan. Or know. I'm gonna fuck up, get McDonald's long before I stop and get a hot dog at the gas station. I I, right now. Like I said, it's not your average gas station. You Michiganites will figure it out. I see your sheets are coming to you. We got fucking it's a B gas, way. It's and the listen, same they have thing. their place. I'll give a gas station hot dog credit, man. When I'm driving all day and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stop and get me some chili dogs. Good. After a movie, I want that cinnamon honey butter. Damn, Alan's easy to get out. You just tell him to get out and he goes. He just goes. Right. Yeah. No, I get some it. I don't understand some shit about, I don't like popcorn. Like, why? Right. I What's get it. like? It's butter I, and salt. I did and not crunchy. like popcorn for a long time. No. I was like, but now you're, now you're here, you're good. Now I eat popcorn. But yeah, yeah, there was a long time where like, you want popcorn? No, I'll take the candy. Yeah, well, I'm and glad I didn't know you then. I like to judge the shit. Out of I like it. salty like buttery popcorn <laughs> and some fucking just peanut so, m and Just, just oh, yeah. throw it all in there same time. I don't know, dude. We went to uh, Regal m and M's, bro, and they got those Cheetos Cheeto popcorn, where the popcorn's got like Cheeto cheese on it, and it's got Cheetos in it. It's like fucking crack. It's it's bad, and your fingers stay orange for like four fucking days. 
we used to have a, a dollar theater in uh, Fort Walton and they would serve pizza there and pitchers of beer and it was the fucking greatest. I saw Borat there. It was so great. So good. There, have- my dad's right. There is nothing like theater popcorn. Yeah, theater or popcorn, theater or butter popcorn is the best. Have you tried getting oral in a fucking theater? (laughs) Right. I mean, that is a lot better better. than theater popcorn. Right. Yeah. Especially when everybody's cheering you on. Yeah. Go, go, go. You're like, what? No, I get it. Yeah. They're like, go, white boy, go, white boy, go, go, white boy, go, white boy, go. Anyway. So there's that. Yeah, dude. And then. What else was you got to talk about? We're going to talk about some video games. Um, I'm fucking super like we're, we're going to do the Boulder's Gate thing. We're going to kind of put a pause on that, put a pin in it, especially me and DB. We're talking about it, but we, we're both going to wait on that yeah, a little um, bit. for a little bit. Not very long, but we're going to get into that. We want to look to do the Final Fantasy thing with you. If that's a cross platform thing and Keith. If that's a you know, if we yeah, can we, all get together and Keith do and that. I were talking about it. We're it's nothing's free. Like you can't yeah. get on like like uh um yeah, it, it's so we'll figure it out. Um are you guys you and Kelly gonna get Baldur's Gate? Yeah, at some point. Yeah, that's why that's we're good. we're both we're both we're gonna get it. Yeah, let's when that happens, let's do that. Yeah. So, yeah. and uh, the one I'm really the most excited for is uh, Grand Theft Auto Six. I know that's not your gameplay style, uh, Don, but I'm looking for it. I'm especially looking for the multiplayer online play. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited to see. I in the ten years that GTA Five has been online, how it's expanded, evolved, and grown. I'm so stoked to see what that means for six and where the next 10 years of that video. Yeah, they're talking all kinds of crazy stuff with six, like the prison experience to a point. Yeah. Where like you you go to jail, go to jail. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate playing uh, GTA if they uh, kind of fixed the um, motion control on it as far as like, the um sensitivity of the joysticks like it if they brought the the controller to 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 character interaction to a more uh concise um way like especially like the driving like make it play like a driving game yeah you know what i mean if you're going to be like running make it played like a fucking you know looter shooter right like right. Give- but you're doing a million different things right so it makes it difficult to no i get that but that the the interface between me and whatever it is that i'm controlling in a game is almost more important than what i'm doing in the game like because mm-hmm. if it's frustrating i yeah but Sometimes I think did a decent job with bringing that uh, more of the camera view and yeah. stuff around because I, I remember playing. I mean, the original I'm constantly Street moving my stuff. camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I um, love it. It helps me so much in that game. I didn't. I got to get up for a minute. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't mind the game as far as like, hey, this is the way this game works. It's right. just trying to interact with it that's frustrating. It's different. It yeah. Different. I, I had the same problem with Red Dead. Like, really cool yeah, world. Cool. It's kind of squirrely, though. Yeah. You like get that little drift action. Yep. Where if not, I walk up to a door and I push the button to sneak up to the door and you kick the fucking door in <laughs> because you didn't code this properly. It pisses you off yeah. yeah i could i could understand that red dead that, did do that a lot where yep. you were like i should have been able to do the action that i was trying to do mm-hmm. and you're a dumbass same so. thing with like the driving mechanics in in um gta 5 like you can drive around and dick around that's fun but if you're right. trying to concisely get through a 
a tightly timed thing, like you're like, you got to do better. Right. Or fix the, like, give me more time or whatever. Like, you're sucking all the fucking fun out of it because you just did a shit half ass job. Like, right. don't make it still me maintains jump. that like top down from the old, yeah. but not. And you get like, that little bit of delay and and now you drive. If you can't deliver the fucking goods, just get rid of the timer because it's not necessary. Right. You know what I mean? It's just shit like that. Like, do better and I'll buy your game. I, I can respect that because I know where you're coming from. I, I've i always been fucking bummed that I missed out on that experience. I'm like, I know that people like it, but if you didn't fucking make yourself play like GTA three, <laughs> right? you know what I mean? Like when that, that's the thing is when it was like GTA, what, what, which one's San Andreas? Is that three? That was its own San Andreas. Okay. So yeah. like, if you weren't playing like, playstation one era like they didn't improve on the way the shit controls much from there right so if like you I said, started five got a little better than where it was no but i it believe it has its own but... style it still has its own yep i think i think that the systems got better and they didn't change their um I don't know what it is. I don't I don't know if it's sensitivity. It's in the programming. Right. And it frustrates the fuck out of me. And I'm like, you can do better than this. Other people did better than this. <laughs> like, have you ever played the Uncharted games? Yeah. Same engine. Doesn't have True. those fucking problems. True. Same engine. Pretty close to the same view. Yes. Very it doesn't have those problems. How it interacts with its uh, surroundings. Yep. yep. So, I don't know. It's just a thing for me. Um, what else are you playing? Anything new? Just your, just the. I've been playing a lot of COD. Yeah, a lot of Call of Duty. Uh, you see in that in the thumbnail that uh Brady made our our rabbits. We are mm -hmm. escape pod COD trying to go out there and take on the world. I get that. It's fun. I, I've okay. been. I'm about halfway through Final Fantasy seven rebirth nice it's uh it's really good the mini games in it are kind of obnoxious i feel like i feel like it in the you know the the serve and fan service -y stuff like right um they went above and beyond to make things look like and you know the hit the nostalgia buttons right but they're they're too long and they're just distracting right in the original game like you kind of needed that kind of shit and and now we're at a point in gaming where you're like just let me fucking mainline the story let me go yeah <laughs> like i was doing one last night where i'm literally playing at at this beach well you played seven right yeah. Oh, Remember yeah. What, when they go to Costa del Sol? Yep. And they're at the beach. And okay, so there's this mini game in this that they've dreamed up for this that right. you're playing one of those like plink shooter games you okay. know, with like the BB guns and shit. Oh, yeah. You know? Shoot the star out kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're you're doing that. And it it's fun like the first time you do it. And then they're basically like, okay, but now you have to be serious. And we right. need, you, you know, you got to get 15,000 points. And, and you have to be good at this. Yeah. And you're like, I don't want to do that. You, you sucked all the fucking fun out of it. <laughs> you made it overly complicated. And I don't want to do it. But the item that you get, you fucking need. Right. And so the, you have and to it, do it. And you got to yeah. grind. That sucks when you get into a game and you're like, you got a good story. You got things going. And then we're going to make you grind something something that's not fun to, to progress where you've got to go yeah and now you, we've turned into this like i'm in a new world and i'm interacting mm -hmm. with this world and now i'm doing the same thing over and over and over again it's kind of like what i do in real life called work yes exactly exactly and that becomes I, not fun difficulty is one thing fucking me just because it has to be hard not cool yep absolutely yeah. i agree 
Yeah, um, uh, there's some Baldur's Gate's on the list, man. Um, I'm gonna pick it up because if I pick it up, LG will pick it up because we share that mm -hmm. Xbox family stuff. So I think I'm gonna pick it up on PlayStation, and I'm hoping that it goes cross platform soon, like they say. That's what I thought I heard. I was gonna, look yeah, that. they're working on it, or, or at least that's what they're saying they're doing. So, um, I'm just hoping I was going to get it on the computer, but right. I got, I feel like maybe I'm, I'm going to get it on the PlayStation. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. They said cross play is a priority, especially yeah. with the rich multiplayer experience. So that would be cool. They come out with a, a cross platform um, thing. Yep. In United. There's no reason for it. I, honestly, there's no like console wars. We like what we like and they're pretty yeah. much the same thing. Uh, it's time to like really start, Let's all kind of come together like Hell Divers. Mm -hmm. Like watching PlayStation and PC play, people playing Hell Divers, that looks like a badass game. Is it coming right. to Xbox? No, it's not going to come to Xbox. You know, Sony's over there saying, no, fuck you, PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. And I, I think that 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 just it just comes from uh trying to rope people into one system or the, the other. Yeah, it's and that if branding. they would if they would just come out with these games on the console, every platform consoles are one thing game developers got to be a different way let's the game developers should be working because we play call of duty cross-platform playing with mm -hmm. people on pc playing with people on playstation i've got friends across pc and and playstation platforms let's all play a game you know right how you play it is your choice you're a playstation guy cool you're a playstation guy you're an xbox yeah. guy cool you're the superior race with a pc cool mm -hmm. but we can all kind of come together and play the same game that's that's what we should be working toward i i think that at least if it's a multiplayer like if it's a, a like a mmo style game like you should be prioritizing cross-platform absolutely um there's there shouldn't be you shouldn't be uh excluding people that want to be doing things together like it kind of ruins the fun of some of this that's what it runs into that problem of like microsoft owning activision playstation mm -hmm. sony you know their their gaming side of it it's you guys are the console owners and you're the game developers and you're not there's no difference between the two of you right They're like hey we made halo you can't fucking play it playstation well hey we made for fucking forbidden legends and uh you can't play any of them, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you could do that. away with that if you stop letting uh, uh, the platform developers own studios. It's true. You just go, nope, that's got to be a third party. It's got to be a separate thing. Yep. The separation of church and state. Let's right. go. Right. Let's all play a game because that's mm -hmm. what we want to do. We all want to play together. You know, that's. Yeah, but God forbid that we do something that's for the consumer. Now and not for a corporation. Well, if we do it this way, then it's better off you just go out and buy that console and the game. Right. right. I'm not doing that though. So yeah, they they literally do this just so that they can wrangle people into owning both consoles. And uh, my house did it for a while. Like I got the original Xbox, PlayStation Two, PlayStation. You know, three was coming out. Three sixty came out, and then it was mm -hmm. like, okay, I. I my son was able to do that because he got one from me and then he got one from his mom. Right. Yep. I but get that. Like it his they didn't go from house to house. Mm -hmm. Like his Xbox stayed at my house and I don't know. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> That's just the way it was. I it's like give my kids I spent I spent like all this money. <laughs> I spent all this money on this fucking machine bro like it's gonna stay here it's staying here where i know you know but you could play it yeah here it is it's here all the time yeah. every time you're here it's here unless you're fucking off at school you you can't but you're good bro for sure oh man i'm sorry my legs are just my legs are bothering me you guys know that and, and it hasn't happened in a fucking long time even outside of just the show alone man Mm -hmm. just fucking this weather changing shit has really been destroying my body this year right so what else what uh, you got anything else you guys want to talk about i'm uh, in the stanley cup in my nhl atsw family franchise 
Nice. We're uh, we're in the Stanley Cup. We are playing uh, the Ottawa Senators. It's going to be interesting. We just flew through the Vancouver Canucks on our way to the Stanley Cup. Warm up. Check out. The it team. was it was yeah. Check out uh ATSW uh the Escape Pod Gaming ATS no Escape Pod Gaming. Check out yeah. uh, Escape Pod Gaming on TikTok. Got clips and stuff there from all of us playing uh call of duty some hockey highlights it's, it's fun we need to we need to stream again on twitch so we can pull some stuff, yeah, get some while. stuff in there it's we haven't streamed while. but yeah smirking bears joined us a few times I mean, we want to game with smirking do some Bear, streaming but... get some wars on wins oh yeah oh yeah we're but a bunch of idiots on there i'm looking forward to gta 6 i can't wait for that that's what I know. We that you went in a big old tangent and discussion. And I was sitting over there, but I'm looking forward to that GTA six. Oh, yeah. And I am going to do the Baldur's Gate with DB. Uh, I want to do this the, the thing with Keith. So we'll see what I can get into. Right now, I'm playing a little bit of 2K, my team with the cards, and I I enjoy doing that. It's fun. Uh, right now, I'm using all like the Lakers uniforms and logo and shit. I used a you get a starter pack. You can pick any team. I pick that, and then I just I'm I'm wrecking shop with the Michael Jordan right now. Thanks, Pave right. Lord. Yeah, it's okay. Sweet, drive safe, Dad, it's or okay. fly safe. Whatever you're doing, however you're doing it. Love you, dude. Yeah, so. I'll, you shared uh, today the uh, Marvel game. Uh, and develop. Oh yeah, uh, the Avengers or uh, nineteen forty three, yeah, the, the Rise of Hydra. That looks, that looks pretty fucking dope for an yeah. adventure game. Like, yeah, I mean, we got Cap, we've got Black Panther. They don't know each other. There's Yahtzees out there. Yeah, it looks it looks all, all the scary Yahtzees. You got to be careful of them. Right. But I, it no, it looks like I want to see some gameplay, but cutscenes, everything that they're showing you for the story looks like it could be a lot of fun. So yeah, definitely down to see what that's all about. And we're still, what do they say? Is it this year that we're going to get that open world Star Wars? Uh, oh, the outlaw. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm ready. Like, give it. I'm definitely going to buy it and try it. What They'll take my money right time away. Time. I will buy the next Star sometime Wars. between April and December this year. Let's uh, do it. Give it to me, neat, man. That's that underworld. Video games have been a great way to advance some lore. Just look at Fallen Order. Jedi oh yeah, Survivor. There's some great story in there. Um, yeah. So yeah, kind of looking forward to that. Hell yeah! I pick, forgot about that. Pick me. Pick them. Don's got um, something to add. I think that's that's about it. Yeah, we were gonna come to the Bad Batch, but there's not really. We're gonna talk more Bad Batch later. Yeah. So we don't really. I mean, good episode. We loved it. We're here for it. You know us. Um, good. But we want to break it down and get sweaty about it. We don't want to skim through it. So we don't want to really give you much yeah. of anything, except we we liked it. We enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Numbers. Great animation. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, fuck Greece. Oh, so Green. fucking greasy shit. That's fuck I RLS. Like, I, I want to yes, think about other things, but I can't. No, so. dude, I'm in a place right now with these legs. It's not good. All right. Let's cut this motherfucker short. All right. You guys have a great night. We love y'all. Thanks for hanging out in the guys. chat. It was fucking popping. Thanks for tolerating yeah. me being a whiny bitch. Yeah. Sorry for cutting it short if you expected your normal two hours, though. But you guys understand, like we always say, life happens, man. And this yeah. is part of life. And I mean, it bears repeating. It was beautiful. We climaxed at the same time. How does that work? Shoot my load into you, shoot your load on the floor. Okay. Yeah, you're loading me to my bottom. Uh, <laughs> when he's like, okay. <laughs> That's just nobody because he says she, he's okay. <laughs> uh, couldn't help Don't it. You uh, load it all right. We love you guys. May the In force be with you. Go blue. I am Groot. Are you going to shoot your goo into me? It's goo. Not goo.